Welcome everyone. Here we are with our currently what we're at structure wise. Got the winder back here. No real and got the spring and I believe that after today we we're gonna be get rid of the spring on the outside because I think I'm gonna get to the point where I can wind the spring into the the whatever this whatever you call the engine of a clock. <laughs> but before we get to that, we got to do all these pieces. So, I think, oops, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> Back up here. Okay. No, I'm still on the wrong page. Okay. Now I'm there. <laughs> okay, so, I am okay, upside down, or right side up, I guess. I guess working on the bottom half. <laughs> get that in there. Got the ring from yesterday. And I think... I think they're the same. Yeah, all the way around. Yeah, we got two, one, two, any. No decorations or anything on this one, so I can't put it on upside down. <laughs> all right, so, but just line them up and mash. No extra. Wait a second. No, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's it. Just line them up and mash them in. <laughs> I hope. So I'm worried about breaking the top parts by pushing the pressure on it, so we've got to pick it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe it does matter. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, this is my perspective. It looked like that wasn't lining up. How about that? Ah, okay. Okay. One more. Okay. And, ooh. Yeah, that did. <laughs> Had a crack on that one. Let's... <laughs> Going on there. Okay. I, I guess it's just under too much strain from all the other. Okay, so I got them all started now. now let's take it on down. Really snug. <laughs> okay, that one a little better. Mm. Wow. <laughs> This is you know, some of that uncomfortable amounts of pressure to <laughs> Okay. What a drop. Okay, nothing important. <laughs> okay. Let's just Okay, let's see if I can do Okay. That did the trick a little. A little dispersion of force. Okay. Okay. They're all down there snug now. Okay. Whether they like it or not. <laughs> okay. And now what are we doing? Oh, got these guys go on the side. And I'm saying there's this little tick at the bottom of that hole is supposed to go towards the top of the clock or down in this <laughs> scenario. So okay. all right. One yeah. maybe. Maybe this will work on the side. I'm not sure. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Yeah, springs. Okay, I got our button. Okay, that one was more cooperative. Go back this way so the spring's not, maybe not in the way. <laughs> 
Let's see. Here's the next one. No, it's not. Okay. There it goes. Just a little dis uncooperative there for a second. <laughs> Probably had the frame squeezed, squeezed in, so I was stopping it from oh, not. Okay, last one. much got our, uh, the base down. That's going to be the bottom of the clock so far. Mm. And that concludes page 33. And around the 34, which is our anti-slip feet. <laughs> so I'm going to, I got this leftover from my last one, so I'm going to use it to guide me on the 15 mil cuts. Rubber band's also left over from the last one, so I don't have to cut a good rubber band like this. I hope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut a good rubber band for one of them. <laughs> yep, two, three, four, five, and I need six. Darn. And the bad thing is, our iron, I've got one around here somewhere underneath some piles of junk, I'm sure. But I don't see it, so sacrificing another rubber band to the. <laughs> cause. Okay. I'll have to leave that one out so I can find it for the next few years set so I don't have to destroy another rubber band. <laughs> All right. And take these guys. And they're just going, looks like. All goes well. I can tuck the rubber band down into the sides. I think that'll make it look neater. If I can get it to cooperate. I just realized, oh, this would be easier if I put my specs on my eyes rather than on top of my head. Yeah, it works much better that way. <laughs> oh, maybe going the other way. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do that a few more times. Okay, this might be a little bit short to do that. I think it'll still... Catch just enough right there. <laughs> or not. Let's do this one instead. Hmm. 
they all work on the shorter ones. I just sort of, yeah, I think it looks neater to have it tucked in there. <laughs> Try this this way. <laughs> Go down there. Okay. Last pair, and this is the the short one, so I'm just not even gonna. Just force it way in for me. Hmm. It does a good nut job. <laughs> and this one's fairly short too, so I'm gonna. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, I'm gonna tuck that one side in because that one's not sticking. Okay, just try. One. side so let's try that again too okay there we go six anti-slip rubber feet things <laughs> and that concludes page 34 back over here and we got this fancy schmancy looking ring thing here and they're gonna go on there is I guess the crown of sorts see is there any I see no indication I don't see any marks to make it look like it matters which direction it's facing I think just as long as that you get them lined up or like that first one, you gotta line them up, then push them in. Okay. The first couple were a whole lot easier than, okay. A little more cooperative than the first batch. <laughs> They're all seated pretty good. Yep. Okay. That's that's where we're at now. <laughs> and then this one obviously goes on our little notches here. Hopefully. Yeah. Looking good. I like it. <laughs> got, a, got our cage pretty much. I don't know what else to call it than a cage <laughs> up here for our the, the ball thingy. Let's say that that looks. I'm happy about that. That concludes page 35. Now on to 36. It says to go down the back. Put our lock in. 
going to line up. Okay. Lock is pushed in. And now... We are going to unleash the spring. So I'm going to take their warning notice uh, from this is, this is the one they're really warning you about so I'm going to take it seriously and slap some gloves on before I start messing around with it too much just to, you know to be you know for overkill reasons <laughs> and grab my snippers and we just got it ready to go And we are take our nylon tie off. Maybe. Okay. Drop that wooden piece. It says have it on the And over here and. Start winding this one up. I think it's going. <laughs> yeah, it's going. Okay. 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 Gloves gotta come off now for that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it is moving. It doesn't. It's sort of. I think the spring is just really long. <laughs> Let's see. Here That's just an irritating sound, isn't it? <laughs> I hope it sounds better on the on to y'all than it does to me in person. <laughs> That wood part's supposed to fall out at some point. When I do the edit, if this sounds as bad as I think it does, I'll speed this up. <laughs> Okay, there. I've got this in the wrong position. <laughs> but I think I can salvage it. This little hook on the end, you can sort of see there, is supposed to get onto. I don't know if I can even get it on camera here. There, there's a. The, the toothpick I put in there is supposed to catch that. Let's see that. I can't even. See if I can get the angle right. Ah. Anyway, there. I promise there's a toothpick back there, <laughs> and that's supposed to catch on that as it goes in. Catch anything else? And it did. It snapped right onto it. 
Let's see. Okay. So, that part's done, thankfully. <laughs> it's much less dramatic than I thought it was going to be when I cut that string. <laughs> cut that uh, nylon tie, rather. Okay, so that's in place. Just push down and pull out the lock. Jeez. <laughs> they could have warned me about that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a happy report. I do not have to go change my pants, but I, you know, be aware that that's going to happen. They they didn't tell me. <laughs> now my spring's all unsprung in there, and and there's that toothpick and the hook that I was ta talking about. Okay. Now, yeah, how do, yeah. There's some. There should be like a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things are about to happen here. <laughs> okay. Now it says to put the lock back in place so that, and turn it five times and pull the lock back out. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it does spring. <laughs> I can do that again. That's, I didn't know what to expect from that. One, two, three, four. You can actually see that clutch mechanism working in there. Uh, <laughs> now, watch the gears and all that. Now, one, two, three. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. One slight heart attack inducing moment, but otherwise this is fun. I'm, I'm proud that's where we got to. That's about where I want to stop, I think. Yeah, because we're, we're, tomorrow we start on this, the ball thing, and I don't know what to expect from that because I've still got, what have I got left? I got, still got another drive spring, uh, axle, I think, and some washers. <laughs> I think those are all from this one. <laughs> uh, but that's where we're going to stop it today because it's just a good place to stop. The, that part assembled with the, everything in place. I, I think it's, you know, it's, I like this coming together nice. I wouldn't, whenever I saw this the first time, I wasn't sure. Yeah, you know, I still don't, I, I never, I don't never watch. Don't never. I, I never watch the videos when I buy these because I want to be see what the result is in person rather than on video. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what this mechanism up here does as it goes. I think it's to control the speed of those things, so act like a uh, regulator for the m m moving. From what I've read about the turbillion turbillon systems, but. Anyways, I've babbled on long enough, so thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!